Hello, welcome to another journal with me. Another one. It has been so long since last I did a journal with me. Uh, yeah, I barely journaled this year. I love journaling so much and nothing really has changed. I just, I don't know, starting a shop and when I opened my PO box and I was answering letters very often, I was mostly just doing that. Uh, and then the pandemic also affected my journaling because the what content I did I mostly journaled about the things that I did and the places that I went and like receipts and stuff and then the pandemic hit and I wasn't really doing much and I felt like I was just doing too many k-pop pages which is fine but this isn't a k-pop journal and I know that my whole thing is that like I have control over whatever I want it to be but I just yeah that was my feelings so the pandemic was a factor and then, you know, I started getting back into it, getting back outside and then I don't have any friends anymore. I don't have any friends in person here in New York. So like, uh, what do, where do I go? What do I do? Mm, I go to school. I go to random places with Rocky sometimes, but that's rare because I like my apartment. I love being home. It feels so good to be in my own apartment and like have my own like sometimes I'll, I'll be sitting there eating my dinner and I'm like wow oh my god <laughs> what a thing. like I did this I made this happen for myself and I built built it up I decorated it all to my taste and I was able to just be free and go crazy with the apartment decorating if you have the question of where is the apartment makeover you know I wish I knew myself I have the footage I just never remember that I need to edit that and here I am doing a journal with me instead so take your pick <laughs> but it's great to be in my own apartment and not always being watched <laughs> like I was in my previous place and also not having to be aware of somebody else uh, and it lets me being alone lets me be free to just create and I'm alone but I'm not lonely I very much like my uh, own company but that does uh, invite I just overthink every single thing <laughs> like so much <laughs> the amount of voice messages that I send my mom insane I need friends <laughs> Anyways, so I got to journaling. The other day on Instagram, I did a live and I was trying to journal because whenever I go on live there, I just don't, like, I, I'm like, oh, let's journal together and then I just talk the whole time. But this time I was trying to journal, but because I, like, felt the, the pressure, I, it was turning out so badly, but I overcame, I, yeah. So, so I stopped doing that and then I came back to it later. And so then I was like, oh, now I feel inspired. And because I turned it around so well, I was like, oh, I feel inspired to journal more. So I wanted to print out pictures of my apartment and how like pictures of my apartment decorated for Halloween. 
and make a little page about it to commemorate it. Uh, but my printer ran out of ink. So in the beginning of this video, you saw me getting new ink, but I decorated my apartment. I didn't really have that much Halloween decor. I had my like favorite pumpkin lights and, and a couple of things from the dollar store. So in uh, the end of August, I started my quest, my, um, halloween buying i was laying in bed one day watching tiktoks and a video came up of these halloween rugs didn't get them spoiler didn't get the rugs but they were at tj maxx and marshall's so i got up out of my bed and dragged myself to marshall's and they didn't have the rug but i did get other stuff and so then it was just sitting there for the rest of august and half of september and i was like it's time to decorate and i took out all my stuff and put it all up and I just love to just just sit in the living room and it's so pleasant to be surrounded. I am very much pleased with the atmosphere I have created in the studio today, this whole month. It's, yes, I'm very happy about it. And I've definitely gotten a couple of pieces that will just stay out forever because who cares? It's my apartment. Yeah, so the first page is commemorating it and I just printed out a couple pictures. I didn't end up using like most of them. I laid them all out and I was like, hmm, it needs a little background. So I used the gold uh, jelly roll, sak sakura jelly roll pens. They're very popular and I like the gold pen of the jelly rolls the best. Uh, it's like the perfect tone of gold that I like and it looks beautiful on black. Sometimes gold pens are too yellow or too yellow <laughs> and I like gold pens to be a little bit more warm toned. So I've been drawing these little ghosts all of uh, Halloween season. I think they're just so cute with their little set eyes. Yeah, yeah. So I drew some little ghosts and some star sparkly stuff and then the stickers that i was using i've had them for like six years now probably maybe give or take a few and these i had gotten at michael's in vermont and these stickers are like so good and like i've used them every single year except for like the couple of years that i probably couldn't find it because i like i specifically put it here and then use it in halloween season and then i forget where i specifically put it i nearly couldn't find it this year and i was like no i have to find it because i really need it because i had gone back to michael's because i was like surely they would have good stuff again psych no michael's halloween was like not good especially in manhattan suburbia probably had better stuff out in their stores but mm -mm, not here it was n very sad and disappointing there was nothing but these stickers i love them and i can't believe that like i'm basically done the booklet because i never finish stickers i hoard stickers but i've been trying to be better at using them so yeah this whole year i've been a lot better at using stickers because i mostly decorate in my planner it's like a planner that's already like pre-printed i gave up on bullet journaling don't i didn't really like it. i felt like it was a waste of paper so i just put stickers and washi tape in my regular planner and then i also got some uh washi tapes from paper source anyways moving on to the next page this isn't a full spread. These are two separate pages. I was talking about that. Like in my journal, I'm either doing like a full spread that both pages are supposed to go together or they're just separate pages. Um, and these are separate pages, but I, you know, I still wanted it to vibe together. So the second page, I tried to incorporate some of the black paper but I wanted the second page to be about my recent reading. So you may or may not have noticed that I got hyped about reading again. So this page is, kind of, is documenting that in a traditional yet creative journal entry vibe. I have a different journal that's for like journaling. Like, here is my feelings. Today I hate soup. Good soup. That's, that's a separate journal. Sometimes in this journal, I like to do little entries that are just like a little snippet of life, you know? So wanted to write down some thoughts the white pen that i used is my favorite white pen i have decided it is the uniball signo broad in uh white duh and it's like a juicy white pen and i love it it's good okay <laughs> so i was using that i was listening to the raven boys the raven cycle these past few days uh if you follow me goodreads you've seen me uh i didn't intend i just meant to reread the first book and then just go on with my life and not read reread the rest of the books i don't know why i thought that i wanted to do that but i ended up listening to the second book and then the third book and then obviously here i am at the fourth book and that's what i was listening to while i was journaling 
and I really, I love this series so much, like, oh, so good, and I'd feel so good to, like, just be pumping out reading books, even though I have read these ones before, but, like, in other, other ones, I've been reading new books, and it feels so good to just, like, have it be a forefront of my life, because this past few years has just been, like, some, like uh, something I do on the side, you know, I never really talked about it online, and I really shared much, which I feel like my natural inclination, because I started on booktube, is to like share what I'm reading, because I have so many thoughts. So it's been fun making like reading type journal, what? Reading type vlogs, and uh, I started watching booktube again, and watching people that I used to watch, and then finding new favorites in this little uh, journal page. I was writing about um, back to watching booktube, and finding new faves, like books with Chloe, whose videos like made me so hyped for reading, like so hyped. It's, yeah, it's all the vibes. I think what I love so much about her videos is that we don't even have to have the same taste. Like I'm a fantasy reader, she's been reading mostly romance recently, but I can still be motivated to read by the energy. It's just, it's all there. Yep. And I've also been watching books with Elliot. Um, nope. <laughs> It's books with Chloe, so I'm like, yeah, books with Elliot, too. I think it's Elliot books. <laughs> she reads a lot of fantasy, so she has wonderful uh, fantasy books, a lot of Orbit books. They're on the top of my TBR, but I just go on to talk about, like, my goal. I read 20 books. I finished 20 books. Very exciting. That was my first goal for the year, but when I made my reading journal the other day, the other week, I change it to 30, even though I don't even know if I'll make it to 30, but now that I've reached 20, I'm like, well, maybe I can, if this energy keeps going. Yeah, and then I was just talking about reading The Raven Cycle and just loving this energy. So yeah, that's my journal page, and I hope you guys enjoyed this voiceover. I did my best. Yeah, never doing a podcast. Well, actually, that's, <laughs> that's my Patreon, like, patron goal. Uh, like, when I reach a certain amount of patrons, then I'll do a podcast, but like, ugh, I dread the day. <laughs> So this was as close as you're getting to a podcast if you're not on Patreon. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or whatever it is. It is nighttime for me and I should think that I would enjoy some dinner right now. Take care and I'll see you next time.